What's up, everyone? This is Tatum. I'm back with another episode of Tatum Takes, where today I'm doing a special episode. I'm going to be talking about my favorite albums from 2021 and why I chose these albums and what made them make my list to begin with. And I'm happy to do one of these because it's my first time doing uh, a recap, I guess, of the year of my favorite albums and things of nature since I started this channel a year ago. So this is this is pretty dope and this should be pretty interesting. And for all my subscribers out there, thanks for riding with me for this year. Uh this has been amazing. This has just been amazing so far. So I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I don't want this I don't even know how many songs I have on this list. I just wrote down my favorite ones and uh hopefully there's some of your favorites and if not you should check them out. So let's get into it. Man, I don't even know where to start. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to name them. It's no particular order. These are just some of the ones that I love. If I might throw them up on the side or something. Yeah, I'll just throw it up on the side. Um, okay, so first on my list, no particular order. Uh, I have Abstract Mind State, Dream Still Inspire. And it's a Chicago group signed to Easy Sound. Uh, Kanye did. The production on all of the album it's very hip-hop if you love like if you like commons b or just that old yay sample shit this is the album the raps are not all that great but it does feel good and it just it's just dope it, it oddly it became one of my favorites i found myself going back to it to listen to it while i'm just writing or uh cleaning it was one of those records that i kept putting on this if it's feel it feels great next record this one, I think, is my favorite album of the year. I think it's the best album of the year, I think, from every standpoint. And that's Yabba, Yabba's Dawn album. That album is just crazy good, like, on so many levels. I think it was just the best thing I heard this year, especially from a new artist. Uh, it was. It just took me by surprise, and it's been in rotation ever since. Uh, so if you haven't checked out Yabba's Dawn, check that out as well. After that... I have Kanye West, Donda. I think Donda uh, has been in constant rotation for me all year. I think it's, I think it's an album that the reassurgence, the reassurgence of Kanye West musically. Uh, I think he's. This is weird to say about him, but downside as far as albums, you get the Ye album and um, Jesus is King, which was like uh, received lukewarm by critics and fans. This one. If you look at the critics, they're panning it. But if you read the reviews, it's 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 like tasteless reviews. Uh, but everyone I talk to in real life in the real world <laughs> loves this album. And if you love music and you listen to this album, and if you love music, you should like this album. I don't. I think from a production standpoint, it sounds amazing. I think from a subject matter, it's dope. Uh, I think it's the best sounding quality of a mixed Kanye album. I know that was weird the way I just worded that, <laughs> but I think it's the best sounding Kanye album as far as just the way it sounds. It sounds beautiful. Uh, it sounds like nothing this year. Next up, Jasmine Sullivan Hotels. Man, man, oh man, 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 man. If and most of these, pretty much all of these, I've done a review for, so you could check out my review on all these albums. But Jasmine Sullivan Hotels, I think this is probably jasmine sullivan coming it's like her return album for one but it's like her getting into that forefront this album she's getting the grammy nominations uh you see her a little bit more of the tiny desk performance if you haven't checked out her tiny desk performance check that out so dope it's good to see those uh women keeping r&b alive and i got a couple more in here from women r&b artists uh who's keeping that genre afloat for me at least and i think this was one of the first ones that kicked it off uh and just a beautiful album the way that the interludes and everything is wolved into it it's just it's beautiful and her singing is just top notch next up i have doja cat planet her i think this album is just remarkable uh from a classic like uh for a pop star this is what it's supposed to be man like you're supposed to have the big hits and they're not corny they actually actually a good songs like uh kiss it more you couldn't go anywhere without hearing that song and it's actually a good song like from a production standpoint from a melody standpoint from just the concept of a song it's a great record and other records on there uh i need to know woman it's so many great records on there i'm really hoping she gets either her or kanye wins the album of the year uh this year at the grammys but she really put her foot in this album and just salute to doja for that because this album was really 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 dope and she's spinning like 
really spitting it better than a lot of these new rappers out here. So yeah, that's that's a plus for me too. Next up, this one was a surprise to me. Uh, it's my first time listening to this artist, uh, Mariah the Scientist, Rai Rai's World. Dope album. No matter uh, how she performs live or whatever, no knock to her by any means. I know how. I know what goes into that live show thing, but uh, that album is really dope. Like that album is really, really dope. Again, one of the few, one of the women who are keeping R and B afloat, the genre itself. So, one of my favorite. Next up, another new artist. Baby King, the melodic blue. Uh, you probably know Baby King from Family Ties, Range Brothers, Kendrick's cousin, Do Rag Activities, and Kanye. Praise God, he's on there. Uh, standout verse on Donda as well. But this album was so dope, and and I'm not saying it's a classic or anything. It just showed a lot of potential of what's to come. And I love I love seeing potentials just as much as I love seeing the 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 artists in their uh biggest moments you know that when you see that diamond in a rough you're like oh if they polish that one right we can we can you know what i mean that's how i feel about baby keem so that had to make my list next up silk sonic a night with silk sonic although i wouldn't say it exceeded my expectations but for nine records and leave the door open and smoking out the window and uh put on a smile those records are just out of this fucking world and it was a great album so that one had to make my list uh <laughs> later too like this is part of the reason why this list was held out for so long is because i had to literally wait hopefully no one drops a surprise album uh next week <laughs> but silk sonic made it next up we have uh summer walker still over it another woman who's holding the r&b torch and probably leading the r&b torch right now for me that album uh, the vulnerability in that album, the honesty in that album, to put that all out there on wax and still made it sound good and still made it sound vibable in a way. Uh, I loved it. Uh, I still have to check out and do a review on her first album over it. I know people ask me to do it, and it's coming next year. A lot of stuff's coming next year. But, yeah, I love this album, too. Next up, I have West Side Gun, uh, Hitler, Where's Hermes 8, B-Side, though. The B-Side one. I think the B-Side is the better album of the two. It just sounded a little bit more focused to me and it was a little bit more west side on there than the previous one and for that reason i thought it may it had to make my list and i'm listening to free cutter to this day so yeah west side what's up next up cleo soul mother for those who haven't heard about cleo soul or uh please go check out this album it's so so dope it's her second album mother it talks about her relationship with her mother her becoming a mother it's just a dope album and a lot of these albums on here on my list have to do with family and mothers so even yabba's dawn that's her mother's name the album is dedicated to her kanye west donda that's dedicated to his mom cleo so uh mother dedicated to her mother like it's it's stuff wolfed in jasmine sullivan she has uh conversations with black women and her mother and stuff on that her uh people who got her in life and summer walker her i'm talking about being a mother as well like it's it, it was crazy that that theme weaved through a bunch of these albums that was on this list but um cleo soul mother another album that took me by surprise uh uh the producer who produced a lot of adele's work worked on this album and you can hear it inflow i think that's the name uh they worked on this album produced all this album as well so if you like adele's 30 you're definitely gonna like cleo soul album mother check it out if you haven't next up i have nas king's disease too i just thought this album was really good i like it i liked king's disease 2 a little bit more than i liked the first one and it just felt good i think him and hit boy really found the groove whatever vibe they in if we get a third one we get a third one but it'd be cool if if we just if this was the last i'll be happy with that too he had lauren hill on here for christ's sakes he had eminem on here epmd the tupac story death row east like it was it was a lot of good pieces on here and to see Nas at this point in his career still uh delivering like this especially at this rapid pace we got like four Nas albums in two years two or three years so that's great in itself next up i have uh idk see for yourself Marilyn, uh hometown native as you can see Marilyn. <laughs> uh this album really took me by surprise um really really good rap record and it's so slept on it's crazy that i don't hear people talking about this album the way they should he had an mf doom west side gun and j electronico on the same song uh puerto rico's dope uh the story talking about his aunt and uh his mom again another record talking about his mother weaved in here uh really really put well put together record 
produ production's dope. The rap's dope. The songs are dope. If you haven't checked out uh, IDK, you see for yourself. Check it out. Really, really good. Next up, I have Vince Staples self-titled album. Vince Staples, another album I didn't hear anyone talk about, and it's so good. There's only like ten records. I think Kenny Beats did it. Pretty much all the records on here. To me, this is the best Vince Staples album. I think it's concise. It's straight to the point. The rap's on point. It's not like over your head type. Nothing over your head. It's just straight to the point. And I love when rappers find that way to be like not corny and straight to the point but have something to say straight to the point and i think this is the perfect album and it vibes like just put it on just riding around just riding put it on while riding around it's only about 40 something minutes if that great album next up i have tyler the creator call me if you get lost uh just to see tyler make a freaking gangster girl mixtape and put it on a mainstream level and get nominated for a Grammy and just see the rollout that he had with it in the videos. And he just doesn't miss, man. I love Tyler Creator. He just doesn't miss. Uh, coming off of Igor and delivering going straight rap. Not my favorite Tyler Creator album, but look at the feats that he did. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just dope. Something you got to admire just from an artist standpoint and just from a fan. Like, if you ever heard Tyler Creator, call me if you get lost, check that out too. Check out my review too on that. And the last album I got on here is Rod Wave So Fly. That this one really shocked me. Like I was not expecting for this album released early this year. I think March, February, March, something like that. But it's so vulnerable. It's so it's like it's like rap country music. Like the way that he's bearing his soul on this album is just so wow. Wow. I just wasn't expecting it. Just just from a young just from a young guy just from a young artist i didn't expect that kind of story and even though i can't listen to it that often because it does make me sad <laughs> but had to make my list had had to make my list and that's pretty much it do i have any honorable mentions cole album was dope i can't think i gotta go through the list there's so many there's so many albums that came out this year so many so many so many how many how many <laughs> that's that's all i could think of just now i'm pretty sure something else gonna come to me but those are the albums for sure that was my favorite of the year so again if you haven't checked out any of those albums that i mentioned be sure to check them out uh, and give me your feedback come back to the video and let me know how you feel about them also let me know what some of your favorite albums this year and um yeah, let me know what some of your favorite albums this year. What some of your favorite songs this year, too. I was thinking of doing a favorite songs list. You guys let me know in the comments if you want that. Again, uh, dope year in music. I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to all new albums. I'm looking all looking forward to all new experiences to share with my uh, YouTube fam. All 1,200. <laughs> all of you uh and i'm just looking forward to growing this family more and more next year again i told you next year my goal is 400k and i know somebody's gonna look at this and say you got a long way to go we got a long way to go and but we're gonna get there uh i believe we're putting things in the universe and it comes back i said i was gonna get a thousand last year but this year and i got a thousand this year so it just shows you you're putting that work man and i'm putting in the work all you guys got to do just tune in <laughs> and tell a friend too. tell a friend and tell a friend uh and that's pretty much it man uh happy new years to from my family to your family and uh let's just go into this next year right man and everybody stay safe out there uh i know it's a lot of crazy a lot of crazy mess going on right now so everybody just be safe and put those walls up around your family and see you next year <laughs> peace <laughs>